and we're here in ICT Summit in Warsaw and Elena Gileva is with me. Hello, Elena. Hi. Um, you do something like a design thinking methodology. What is it really? Well, design thinking is a methodology for creating innovative yet desirable solutions. You know, it could be products, services, um, even spaces. But it has a very confusing name, I think, because people associated with creating, you know, design, just making everything more designerly, like with a nicer design. And they think it's about, I don't know, thinking about stuff. While design thinking is neither design, it's nor thinking. In the sense that what we are trying to do in design thinking is to create a solution that is not just well designed, but gives an overall good experience. So we are designing the whole experience. So this is the design part. And the thinking part, we're not really thinking about it, but what we are trying to do in design thinking is, you can say it's a two-phase process if you overly simplify it. In the first phase, you're trying to identify what is the problem that users have. And in the second one, you're trying to find a solution through lots of lots of iterations. Um, so this is... I don't know if it answers your questions, but this is what it is. But you, you work all over the world with uh, big companies and also with small startups. And do you see the difference with the mindset when you're trying to implement your methodology and you see the big corporation and you see smaller startup, then they are always open-minded, but they're not always, um, you know, they want to do an app which will be a second Facebook, yeah? <laughs> Is it easier to work with big companies or uh, smaller startups? Hmm, that's a good question. Um First of all, I work for, for the time being in Eastern Europe. That's where we are active as a design thinking agency. Um, whether it's easier to work with companies or startups, um, in some ways I find startups very conservative in the sense that they, are, they have this attitude, we are startups, we are different, we want to build and rebuild you know, the world, if, if I extrapolate, if I exaggerate this. So they are a little bit more stubborn to try something different. And design thinking asks them basically to forget for a little while about their idea and to go to the user and really validate if there is a problem. So design thinking is a lot about studying the user, having empathy for the user, and startups are yeah, they like to build stuff. They like to cope, to develop, most, of course. Um, corporations are much more open, that's my experience, at least in Eastern Europe, to try this methodology. They're more acquainted with it. Um, of course, they are very, how to say, conscious of the return on investment. So the first question I get is, how do we measure return on investment? So you believe uh, we can use this methodology not only in East Eastern uh, Europe, but all over the world? Because you know we're still talking an ICT summit that uh, this region is very important. Now we need to think not locally, but globally. Um, design thinking, it is used all over the world. I mean, um, it's very, very popular in the two hotspots, I call them for design thinking, where you have the two design thinking schools. In Stanford University is the first, the original design thinking school, so obviously in the Valley, in San Francisco, it's quite, quite a popular methodology. In Europe, there is a design thinking school in Potsdam, very close to Berlin, so um, Germany has become, you know, a, a hotspot for design thinking, and a lot of big companies use it. A lot of global companies use it, like SAP, who has a very tightly linked history with design thinking. So it is certainly a global methodology. In my opinion, it works best in places where there are lots of problems, because in design thinking we say there is no innovation if there is no problem. So you really have to find the specific problem, find a specific user profile that has this problem and really care for it and, and start from there. You know, innovation, finding the solution is, is the second bit, but the, the first one is very important. So we, yes, we, in Eastern Europe, we have lots of problems and definitely this, this could help, yes. The other thing, sorry, um, if I could add something is, in Eastern Europe, we generally have and again, it's very difficult to talk about a topic without using stereotypes, but we have less consideration about the overall experience. We think about bits and pieces, the digital, the offline, the space, we kind of cut it separately. And design thinking you know, makes us look at, at the whole thing together because this is how we as users, as customers experience it. So it tells company, yeah, get into the shoes of your users for a while. Thank you very much. You're welcome.